Hey everyone, my name is Zach Shar. I'm a uh, contributor of The Upper Room from Canton, Ohio, where I live with my wife and my two daughters. First and foremost, I just want to recognize all of the writers and the contributors to The Upper Room. Thank you so much for taking bold steps of faith to share what God has placed on your heart. I am a prime example that I read what you write and my life has been changed because of it, not just as a, as a writer, um, as a source of encouragement, but just as a faithful believer of Christ, my life has been changed by reading these devotionals. I remember my first devotional before I hit submit, I was so nervous that it would be rejected. Um, I prayed over it and I just asked that God would bless it. I said, God, you know, you've placed something on my heart. Let me share that with someone else. And, and, uh, and surely enough, I got the acceptance email and I've been faithfully uh, serving and consuming the upper room material ever since. And that was several years ago. Hey, be on the lookout for my devotional based on Romans 12, 16. Look, life is messy. Life is dirty. Life is confusing. Life is frustrating. But life is also beautiful. I remember when I was younger, um, I'd always wanted to sing, so I took uh, <coughs> vocal lessons. And I remember sitting in front of this piano with my teacher every week and she would have me harmonize and she would stretch my, my vocal range. And um, I was able to harmonize and I was able to keep pitch uh, with a lot of it, but it was the high notes that I struggled with. It's the high notes that would turn what we were doing as peaceful and harmonious into just chaos and, and it just sounded awful. And so uh, Paul, he's, he's writing to this church in Rome and he's telling them, hey, live in harmony with one another. I know there's some high notes in your life. I know that there's some people that are difficult to get along with. I know that there's some situations that make you wanna turn bitter, but I'm asking you to turn better. Paul is telling the church at Rome to live in harmony with one another. We too, if we're being honest with ourselves, can live in harmony with one another. Uh, we can bring harmony into our homes. We can bring harmony into our churches. We can bring harmony into our workplace, to the stranger at the grocery store, wherever it is, Paul in his instruction to, to the church at Rome um, is, is, is just that, to, to live in harmony with one another. Lastly, I just want to encourage you, if you're watching this and you haven't yet subscribed to The Upper Room, go to The Upper Room. Allow it to change your heart. Allow God to speak to you through His people. There's so much unity here. You can go to upperroom.org and sign up, or if you're like me, you can download the app. Um, whichever way you decide to view the material, thank you so much. May God be with you, and may God continue to speak to you in these devotionals and guide you.